Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a slightly different video today because I've come to sit in Nottingham to take a look at the fantastic Alpina brand. So what I'm gonna do in a sec, I'm gonna grab that camera and we're gonna take a walk around the showroom to take a look at some of the cars in here and talk a little bit about what Alpina is. <laughs> So let's start from the beginning. What is Alpina? Well, Alpina make incredibly bespoke versions of BMW models. They started in around the 1960s where they started making little tuning kits for BMW as well as competing in racing. And now today they create some really, really special, special cars. We'll start down the front with the Grand Coupes. Now, of course, these are based on the 4 Series Grand Coupe. So on the right, we have the D4, and on the left, we have the B4. Of course, you'll start to notice that the models line up perfectly. The differences are the B and the D. The D stands for diesel. So in an ever-evolving world where BMW themselves are starting to get rid of the M Performance variants, the 440D, etc., the 340D, Alpina are very much still at the forefront. So this D4 is a very special car, which we'll take a look at in a second. But let's start here with the B4. Now, you'll see quite a lot of similarities across this whole range in the design. So if you come down here, the way you can tell that it's an Alpina, you've got this sort of splitter, which runs the whole way along the front. Of course, you've got Alpina written there, but they sort of have the body color along the splitters all the way through same with this one here with the d4 where the body color just blends right into the paintwork and then one of the biggest telltales are these incredible wheels these are absolutely stunning and are a real telltale that this car is an alpina you can see exactly the same on the d4 let's start with the b4 this has a six cylinder petrol engine with around 500 horsepower, 730 newton meters of torque, which means 0 to 62 is dealt with in around 3.7 seconds. And wow, that's sort of M4 kind of speed. But of course, BMW themselves don't do an M4 Grand Coupe, but Alpina do. And you'll see that sort of theme carrying on throughout the whole range. I think they look fantastic to begin with. A couple of the additional little extras, obviously, Alpina down here. And as you move along the side, they have this sort of sticker pinstripe all the way along, it says Alpina, right the way along through the doors, right down to the rear. And then when we get to the rear, as you can see, the rear diffuser is body colored rather than gloss black or carbon fiber. Then you've got quad exhaust pipes on the back of here as well, which looks fantastic. And of course, Alpina designation and a rear boot lid spoiler in body color. But let's move around and take a look at the interiors of these. They are obviously based on the BMW 4 Series. However, you've got slightly different things. So you've got the Alpina badging in the middle. You've got some green stitching here. And then on the seats, you have the Alpina badging in there as well. Plus a few little extra bits, like a plaque down in the middle um, that says what number the car is. But other than that, it's very, very familiar BMW. So if you're familiar to your BMW models, you then start looking at these, you'll be immediately, immediately at home. They just offer something a little bit more, just more dynamic, slightly more performance biased. But yeah, I think they look absolutely fantastic. So they are the four series Grand Coupe versions, the B4 and the D4. But as we move round, take a look at this now i love this this is a b3 touring this is basically the m3 touring before the m3 touring again you can see the signature down here with the front bumper in the in the body color with alpina across the front and again those wheels they look absolutely fantastic on there don't they and once again you have the pinstripe which runs the whole way along the side and again the same sort of design with the alpina badge here slightly different shift paddles behind here and the seats are pretty much the same apart from 
the Alpina badge in the middle. And then on the left, we have this. This thing is absolutely fantastic. This is an XD3. Again, six cylinder diesel engine, just over 300 horsepower, over 700 Newton meters of torque. Oh, I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. Again, it's really recognizable because of the body color down here. It carries on through. There isn't the gloss black elements like you get on the BMW and performance models. Yeah, again, pinstriping along the side. The spec on this one is absolutely beautiful with a sort of ivory interior. Again, the plaque in the middle and slightly different wood trim in the middle too. It is a really stunning thing to look at. Yeah, these two very, very special cars. Yeah, B3, look at that. I love the quad pipes on the rear and I love the body color um, across the back. Same with the XD3 as well. The body color all the way through. It looks fantastic. And the wheels again look absolutely incredible. Enormous 22 inch wheels on these ones. Yeah, really, really special looking thing. There's another car a bit further on that I'd like to show you too. But yeah, real, real fan of this. Looks brilliant with the gloss black grill on the front. Yeah, and this color finished in Brooklyn gray as well is absolutely stunning. Again, six cylinder, bucket loads of power. The M3 Touring before the M3 Touring. Really special thing. And then behind me, we have the D3S. This is stunning. Hopefully you can see the color. It is this beautiful green, and yeah, it's a it's a touring with a lovely, lovely, torquey diesel engine. Which of course, BMW are starting to discontinue now. The M340D has pretty much at time of filming been discontinued. But yeah, look at this. It's gone very bright all of a sudden over here. But yeah, it's a very, very special thing to look at. Really lovely. Love the Alpina badging here, the D3S across here. And again, those quad pipes, really, really beautiful thing to behold. It's a stunning, stunning thing, this. It's really beautiful. <laughs> and yeah, another on the, on the side here, B4 Grand Coupe. Again, the signature alloy wheels, the pinstriping along the side. These things are really, really special. So I feel they're a little bit more, I would say, kind of like a, a more... I don't know. If you want something that's just a little bit different, a little bit more exclusive than a BMW M car, yeah, take a look at these. They're really, really special. Really special cars. I really love the Tourings. I'm really partial to a nice Touring, and yeah, these things look fantastic. I love the seats in here. Really lovely. But other than that, as I said earlier, if you're familiar with your BMWs, you're going to jump right into one of these. And you're going to know exactly what you're doing. They are really, really special. Really great to see. I've never really spent much time around them. But they are really, really beautiful things to look at here at Sitna Nottingham. And yeah, I'm going to start this. This is, this is just the intro to Alpina. Please make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel because very, very soon we're going to be getting some of these cars out. We're going to go for a drive and really find out exactly what Alpina is all about. Today, it's just about introducing the brand, taking a look around this brilliant showroom here and sort of introducing you to them. And yeah, if you want any more information on Alpina, please use the link in the description of this video to get in contact with Sitna. And yeah, I mean, really special stuff in here. I love spending time around these, but yeah, there we go. A super, super short, super quick introduction to what you're going to be seeing a lot more on the channel with Alpina. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to Sitna TV. Yeah, for plenty more Alpina content to come. And we'll see you guys again really, really soon.